choosing a guitar. There are two main types of guitar to choose from, the electric guitar and the acoustic guitar. The acoustic guitar is intended for use by itself without any need for amplification, whereas the electric guitar is designed for use with an amplifier. An amplifier is a device which will make the guitar sound louder. Amplifiers come in a huge variety, from tiny little personal amplifiers which will just make enough sound to fill a small room, to huge professional amplifiers which will fill a stadium or an auditorium. A guitar can be connected to an amplifier very easily by using a lead that connects the output on the guitar to the input on the amplifier. Between the electric guitar and the acoustic guitar is an entire spectrum of guitars, some of which will lean more towards the acoustic capabilities and others which lean more towards the electric capabilities. Here's a rundown of just some of the guitars that are available. The classical or Spanish guitar. This is a full acoustic guitar, and as the name suggests, it's best suited towards classical or Spanish styles of guitar playing. This style of guitar has a small body for an acoustic guitar, with a wide neck and nylon strings. The small body and nylon strings give this guitar a particularly woody tone, which is ideally suited towards classical and Spanish guitar. The wide neck makes it easier to get your fingers between the strings for finger picking, but make this guitar more difficult for strumming. This isn't a very good choice of guitar then if you want to learn contemporary music. There's an urban myth or common misconception that nylon strung guitars are the best guitar to learn on. This isn't true however. If you want to learn classical guitar, it's perfect, but if you want to learn contemporary music, this isn't the best guitar to start on. The Country, Folk or Dreadnought Guitar This is a full acoustic guitar with a slightly more tinny sound than the classical guitar. This guitar can be recognised by the large body, long narrow neck, steel strings and scratch plate. This configuration makes it the ideal guitar to learn contemporary music in many styles. The narrow neck and steel strings also make it the ideal guitar if you intend to move on later to an electric guitar. The feel of the neck is quite similar to an electric guitar neck, but the body is a lot larger. Because of the size of the body, some care should be taken when buying one of these guitars. It's a good idea to go into the guitar shop and try one on your knee first just to see how it feels. Some children and small adults have difficulty with the body and find it digs into their arm so it's uncomfortable to play. The Electro Acoustic Guitar The electroacoustic guitar is a true acoustic guitar, however it has a pickup built into it. This can be useful for recording purposes or to play to large audiences where amplification is required. Electroacoustic guitars come in many shapes and forms. For example you can get a classical electroacoustic guitar or a dreadnought electroacoustic guitar. The guitar pictured has a narrow neck and steel strings. You'll also notice it has a cutaway body. This allows you to access the higher frets more easily. This particular guitar has a shallow body, which many people find more comfortable to hold. You'll also notice on this guitar the rounded plastic back, which gives it a slightly different, 
yet unique sound. The semi-acoustic or hollow-bodied electric guitar. The semi-acoustic guitar is more closely related to the electric guitar and therefore isn't a true acoustic guitar. Notice the narrow neck, steel strings and scratch plate which it holds in common with some acoustic and electroacoustic guitars such as the Dreadnought. However, the exposed pickups with a pickup selector switch, volume and tone controls and a tremolo bar are things you'd normally only associate with an electric guitar. When played acoustically, the semi-acoustic guitar is very quiet. However, when plugged into an amplifier, it behaves and sounds exactly like any other electric guitar. Many guitarists prefer the sound of a semi-acoustic guitar, and it is popular amongst blues and jazz players, and more recently amongst indie bands. The solid-bodied electric guitar. <laughs> solid bodied electric guitar is probably the most available guitar on the market today. There are literally thousands of variations in the size, shape and colour in which the solid body electric guitar is available. The size, shape and colour of the guitar have very little or no impact at all on the sound of the guitar. However, the pickup style and configuration makes an audible difference to the way the guitar sounds. Because of this, it's worth taking note of the style of guitar that's used in the style of music you'd eventually like to play. The solid bodied electric guitar was specifically designed for use with amplification, and therefore without amplification they're very very quiet, and are only really useful for practicing in a quiet room. Saying that however, the volume is usually perfectly adequate for practicing by yourself. Once you've researched all the guitars that are available, and decided what style of guitar you want to buy. Don't be too concerned if the style you want to buy is very expensive. There are many third party companies who make cheap replicas of the expensive guitars and many of these are of a very good quality. In fact there are many professionals who use cheap replicas of expensive guitars. However once you've seen the style and the make of guitar you want it's always a good idea to go to your local music shop and try as many guitars as possible. This way you'll be 100% sure that the guitar you're getting is the one you want and its quality is good and sound is good. The only way you can find out these things is by actually trying the guitar out. Left handed guitars. Unfortunately there aren't quite so many left handed guitars available as there are right handed guitars. However if you search the internet you tend to find most guitars are available out there somewhere. A left-handed guitar is literally the mirror image of its right-handed counterpart and because of this some guitars which are naturally symmetrical can be easily converted to be left-handed guitars. For example classical guitars are reasonably easy to convert however it's always a good idea to get somebody who knows what they're doing to do the conversion for you. Whether you're left-handed or right-handed, don't be in too much of a hurry to choose your guitar. Remember, the guitar you choose could last you for a great many years. <laughs> 